Hey everyone, Zane here and today I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Scan app. Now the first thing that you should do is to simply go and download the application from Play Store and after downloading it, here you will find it, you can just open it, then now you will have to give it some permissions and I forgot to tell you that you have to sign in first, you can sign in for free by using your Google account and now you should give it the access, click on while you're using the app and now you can use the application to take some photos of some documents and here let's try on this book right here let's say that i want to capture this one for example i'm just gonna click on this button right here in order to auto capture if i need to do so now you can simply just put the camera in front of any document just like so it will easily detect it and try to avoid using any shadow now here it captures the document automatically and now it detected it and highlighted the edges and also have done a crop so you can also click on this button right here keep scanning if you want to add more photos or more documents to your own pdf you can do the same and here we are we have it also now down below right here you'll find many other options you can choose the page like this you can also know the number of pages by clicking on this option right here this one or you can simply save it but before we save it i just want to do some edits to this page for example so here in this page you can click on rotate if you want to do some rotations to the page you can also modify the crop you can also retake this page by clicking on retake then try to retake the photo again you can also use filters you can also do undo or redo by clicking on these two arrows on the top you can also discard the changes by clicking on this x sign then click on ok you can try to change the brightness by clicking on this button right here adjust and here we have some other options like the resize one and you can even do some markings so in my case i will try to mark these sentences right here then mark like this you can also change the color from here you can also delete any shape by just clicking on it on this x sign and finally you can delete the document from the pdf by clicking on the delete button and on the top here you can change the name let's say that i'm gonna name it g frog for example then click on rename and you can also change the suggestions the date itself and now i can click on save pdf here you have it you will find all the pdfs here in the main home page and when you click on the top left corner on your profile picture you can see more about the help center and some of the settings and preferences you can change the app theme and you can also change the text recognition language you can use many other languages whenever you want to make a new pdf just click on this camera icon and you can also take a photo of a book just like this choose book then do as i do right now it will automatically select the book just like so now i can do some more rotations to it here we have two pages at once the first page and the second page so you may use this method in order to save some time and finally you can search for a specific item by searching for it by its name and you can go back and share this pdf do some edits to it or save it as pdf or export it set a password for it but these are only available in the premium plan you can open it in acrobat rename it move it print it or even delete it and that's all for today if you find this video helpful please don't forget to support us with like subscribe comment share thanks for watching and see you in a new video